Hello and welcome back to Fairview 5. I am Madison with your Fairview News. The first topic I will be talking about is the on-track program. Every few weeks we have a program that reminds us to be tolerant, respectful, accountable, courageous, and kind. You might be, be asking yourself, why, why or how does this ben benefit us? Well, this program is a pro positive development and support program that helps build both a growth mindset and a character strengths. This program also teaches us how to treat other people, things, and yourself po in a positive way. Remember to always stay on track. Spring is just around the corner, and that means school field trips are getting closer and closer. But make sure to get your permission slip signed by a parent. Lastly, younger grades, be ready to do fun activities for Valentine's Day, because Valentine's Day is only 12 days away. Well, that's all for me. Now on to Santino with the sports. Thanks, Madison. I'm here in the stadium that the Super Bowl will be played in on Sunday. Now, now the Super Bowl it will be the Super Bowl game is Tom Brady and the Patriots and Matt Ryan and the Falcons. So start pl planning a party or driving to Houston. Most experts say that the Falcons are going to win the Super Bowl, but don't worry, Patriots fans. Anything can happen. Now, now to Crestwood Sports. The boys basketball team it, has won six games in a row, so congratulations to them for, from all of us at Fairview and Five. Now, now to the M NBA. On Tuesday, the, the Lakers beat the, beat the Nuggets, and tonight the Warriors will face the Clippers. Now to the NHL. On Tuesday, the Penguins beat the Predators 4-2. Uh, to Tonight, the Jets will face the Stars. That's it for sports. Now to Ashland with national news. Thanks, Santino. Hi, this is Ashland with national news. First. President Trump signed seven elective orders already. The executive orders could be good or bad for the citizens of the USA. Secondly, two days ago, Grace talked about the Tigers bouncing back, but what, didn't, what she didn't mention is why they were going extinct. Well, the Tigers are going extinct because of poachers. If you don't know what poachers are, they're people that hunt tigers illegal, illegally. Scientists are working on working with the government of governments of Asia. Next, a red panda escaped from the zoo, escaped from the Virginia, Virginia Zoo. All I can find on this panda is that a 19 a 19-month old panda that r ran away from the zoo. For right now, that's all I can find, so stick around to find more about the about this panda. Finally, most of you have heard of the iPhone 7 Plus, but have you heard of the iPhone 8? Well, rumor has it that the iPhone 8 will come out soon. It is said to be the most expensive iPhone ever sold. It it's, is said to be water resistant with a flexible design, OLED. Now to Andrew with entertainment. Have a good day. Thank you, Ashlyn. Hello, I'm Andrew with entertainment. Like Santino said, Super Bowl Sunday is this Sunday. This year's halftime show will be performed by Lady Gaga and the national anthem will be sung by country star Luke Bryan. For all of you Pitch Perfect fans, the stars of the movie have announced the Pitch Perfect 3. The movie should be out by the end of the year, but I do not have any details about the movie because of the far away release date. Many of you, many of you older kids may remember the hit TV, Disney Channel TV show, That's a Raven. Well, Disney Channel is making a spin-off show that Raven Simone is calling That's a Raven 2. The show is about a divorced mother, Raven, and her two preteen kids. One of the kids inherited Raven's ability to see into the future. Raven's two kids are Nia, a confident girl who inherited her mother's powers, and Brooker, a, mo a mommy's boy who never acts up. That's a Raven was one of my favorite TV shows when I was younger, so I'm very excited for the spinoff. Thanks for watching Fairview and Five. Make it a good day or not, the choice is yours. <laughs> 